Welcome back to the den for rambles. Rambles. Rambles, rants, racers. Oh, yeah. That's right. How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Let's get into this. First, I want to thank everyone who joined us on We Shave with Phil Decker, Smiley, and I for the July edition. And the end of August, Sieg Solo will be joining us, and that will be the last week. We haven't set it down exactly just yet. In regards to We Shave and the We Shave giveaway, we have one more sticker. There'll be a link in the description below with the details about the giveaway in case you might have missed it. We have one more sticker to give away. We have one international winner, that's Lee in Thailand. The way I want to do this is, is between now and Sieg's Live at the end of the month, I want to get us a winner with this guy here. During that We Shave with Sieg, I'll announce the winner. We'll probably start the giveaway in one of my outdoor shave videos. Then, beginning in September, we have a total of seven winners. In September, I want to announce the first three winners. And the way that we're going to do this is, is I'll take all seven names, throw them into a hat. That September We Shave Live, I will draw the three names. Those three... <laughs> those three... will win a gift card to either the Shave Supply, the Wet Shaving Store, or Phoenix Shaving. And I'll just let, well, I'll figure out exactly how I divvy those up. So anyways, then beginning in October, we'll start doing the gift packages. And so October, we shave, we'll announce that package winner. Right, so we had seven that took us down to here. So October, November, we'll do the same thing. And then in December, I want to announce the second and the first uh, winner, and I want to have that done before Christmas. Let's go to the I Buy, You Fly giveaway, Sorrento, and the Bay Rum. Chubbs, DJ Chubbs, is that your username? William, William Cox, your name came up on this one, brother. I will contact you. I think I still might actually have your info, but I'm still going to contact you if you don't contact me first, and I'll grab that from you. Then for Sorrento, the balm and soap, Mark Fuentes. Did I say that right? Mark Fuentes. I did say that right, right? Close enough. Congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, I appreciate you taking these off my hands and being willing to pay the shipping. That will move us into the next one. And I will announce this one probably during a outdoor shave video, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And so I want to offer up today, I'm just going to do this real quick. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Diamond from Barrister and Man. Used it maybe four times. Did some wonky scraping there. I have the Splash. You see, it's mostly full, a little dusty, see, right? These things are gathering dust. I got way too many. And then also the bomb. And I believe I can get this to anybody in the States for less than $10. Then the other one, because I want to I want to try and do two uh, with each one. Tobacco flower from Moon Soaps. I'm going to keep the rest of my Moon Soaps. I'll be keeping Old School and Astoria. I think I can get plenty of use out of both of those. And the matching bomb. I've only used tobacco flour three or four times. You can see I've been scooping from up in here. The rest of it is untouched. If you want either one of these in the comments below, just say moon soaps or you know tobacco flour and then diamond. If you want both, you know, just like with the last one, I'm gonna try and have two winners, but you know, if there's not much demand you know if, if people aren't commenting then we'll just give it to one however it works out but i want to try and have, um, give as many people an opportunity to get their hands on these ten dollar sets is basically what they'll come out to so congratulations again to mark and william with the sorrento and the bay rum and then the tobacco flower and the diamond are up for grabs and i do believe that i can get these to anywhere in the states for right around or less than ten dollars 
take a deep breath because something I wanted to talk about since probably the last election. And remember, this is just one guy's opinion, one guy's rant, one guy's ramble. If you're watching this video, you're probably part of the wet shaving community. In the 2020 election and in the 2016 election. I was too new for the 2012. So I can't, I can't tell you what things were like then. But I imagine it was probably similar to the 16 and the 20. If you have a wet shaving, and this is just my request, right? I just want to put this out there for you guys to chew on. Nobody cares about our political opinions. They really don't. And, you know, I got my thin blue line back there in Reagan. But let me tell you, that doesn't mean I'm a Republican. Uh, I'm a very middle-of-the-road guy. If I'm anything, I'm a libertarian, a constitutional libertarian. And I get so tired of the labels that divide us. That's one of the reasons why I embrace the term ginger, because I had it thrown at me as a kid, and I just ended up turning it around on people. Uh, and I even had fun with it, especially with certain girls who would use you know terms like fire crotch. And then, you know, fanboy. So, like, I just embrace it, you know. But if you're one of these guys who thinks that Joe Biden's shit don't stink, or you think that Donald Trump's shit don't stink, or that DeSantis or Newsom shit don't stink, you got a lot of figuring out to do there. But at the end of the day, they're all human. They have all made mistakes, as have I. Here in America, we have a two-party system, and both parties are equally corrupt. Both parties have equally failed us. I was born in 77. I was thinking about this the other day. How many times has the Republicans controlled Congress since I was born? How many times has the Democrats controlled Congress since I was born? How many presidents have we had since I was born? When I was born in 77, we had Carter. Then we had Reagan. Then we had Bush the first. Then we had Clinton, then we had Bush the second, then we had Obama, then we had Trump, and now we have Biden. So one Democrat, two Democrat, three Democrat, right? And then Reagan, one Republican, two Republican, three Republican. So it's, it's split pretty much down the middle. And when I was looking at the House, Congress, and you know the Senate, the legislative branch, it's pretty well divided too. There's not just one party that has gotten us into this mess. There's not one party that is going to get us out of this mess. If you think the Republicans can get us out of this, you're fooling yourself. If you think the Democrats can get us out of this mess, you're fooling yourself. We, the people, can get ourselves out of this mess, but we have to stop the infighting. We have to stop the bickering. We need to look at what unites us and what, and, and not look at what divides us. When I scroll through people's, you know, when I'm scrolling through my Facebook, you know, I agree with things and I disagree with things. And I'm all for, you know, people sharing, you know, what they believe, right? But what I think we really need to refrain from doing is is the insults. Because really when we insult people, we're truly saying more about ourselves than we're saying about the other person. You're not going to change anyone's opinion. I'm not going to change your opinion on what you post or what you don't post. But I do want to just invite you to think about ways to strengthen the community before you, you know, hit that post. Maybe create another account. That's one of the things I've done. I no longer do political posts. I used to. I did. And then I finally realized, though, that at the end of the day, nobody gives two shits about my political opinion. My opinions, no matter how much fact or how much logic or how much love I lay down is going to change anyone's opinion. So, hope I haven't pissed too many people off with what I just said. If I did, I'll be blunt. You probably got some growing up to do because uh, what I said just said wasn't controversial. That's my rant. That's my ramble. 
Um, just basically comes down to what your mother should have taught you. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And with that, I love you a long time. And uh, believe me, there's Republicans who would tell you that my beliefs don't make me a Republican. And there's Democrats who would tell you that my beliefs don't make me a Republican. I'm a libertarian. And I believe in your freedom to do whatever the hell you want. Doesn't mean that you're going to look smart, though, doing it. We all got things to figure out. I got a lot to figure out. I got a lot to work on. I just wanted to give you something to chew on. Take care. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll see you in a few minutes with an alum, alum video. Take care.